When making contact with a driver, you must use the contact signaler functionality before making a point-to-point -point call to drivers whilst they are on the move. This section will show you the various ways to make a normal call. Let's look at the procedure for receiving a normal call. When a normal call comes in, the caller's identity will appear in the incoming call list and the active call button will appear as a yellow box. You will also hear this ringtone. The ACB will display the train's head code or unit number along with the location ID showing the signal birth or cell from where the call is being made. If this black train icon appears, then the call is from a registered head code. If this track icon appears, then the call is from another fixed terminal user. The name of the signal box is also displayed. There are two ways to answer a call, either by lifting the handset or by pressing the ACB and then the PTT button on the audio module to use the gooseneck microphone. Signal of Gatestown West. If you lift the handset, remember not to press the ACB as this will terminate the call. Remember to press the push to talk button to speak to the caller and then release to listen. When the call is finished, you can press the ACB to end the call or simply replace the handset. Let's look at how to make a normal call using the train's mobiles option. From the incoming screen, press the train's mobiles direct access tab. A list of the trains and mobiles registered within your area of control will be displayed, showing the train reporting number, the traction unit number and the location. As each registered train enters and leaves your area, they will appear and disappear from the train's mobiles list. Select the train that you want to call. The area on the right shows the functional identity of the registered train. To make the call, press the phone receiver icon. The active call button will be yellow with a flashing yellow border when the call is connecting. Once the call has been answered, it will remain yellow. The information displayed on the active call button will depend on the type of area you are controlling. If it is a train describer area, then the ACB will display the train head code, the signal birth number the train is occupying in a train describer, and the caller's contact icon. This will be black if the call is being made to a registered train. If you are controlling a non-train describer area, then the ACB will display the train head code, cell name, and the caller's contact icon. Once the call is connected, the ACB will remain on. The location information will be removed, but the caller's contact icon, contact identification, and the words end call will still be displayed. Two-way communications can now take place but the push to talk button must be pressed when talking and released when listening. Once you have completed the call, it can be closed by either replacing the handset or by pressing the ACB. You can make a normal call via the dial pad using the head code option by pressing the dial function button at the base of the fixed terminal. This screen will appear. When the head code option is the default selection, it is highlighted in blue. You can then enter the head code using the head code friendly keypad. The functional identity of the train will appear. To initiate the call, press the receiver button. The ACB will function like this. As before, the black train icon appears showing that you are connecting to a registered train. If you incorrectly enter a head code that is not registered in your area, then an orange band will appear and this message will be displayed. 
you can clear the incorrect head code by pressing the left arrow and then re-entering the correct code. When you have completed the call, either hang up the receiver or press the ACB. You can make a normal call using a unit number by pressing the unit number button on the dial function screen and then entering the unit number. You must select the required driver cab, either cab A or cab B, by pressing the relevant buttons. Press the receiver button to initiate the call. The unit number will appear on the ACB. When calling a unit number, a white train icon is displayed. This tells the user that they are contacting an unregistered train. It is important to know that the unit number of a train not in your area of control can be contacted in this way. Safety critical comms protocols must be adhered to to make sure you are talking to the correct driver. End the call in the normal way by hanging up the handset or by pressing the ACB. You can contact a mobile or landline phone number directly by pressing the dial pad button and then entering the number. To make the call, press the receiver button and the ACB appears as a yellow button with a flashing yellow border. The mobile phone number will appear along with this black telephone icon. There is a last number redial option which is activated by pressing the curved arrow button. If you have incorrectly entered a number then you can erase it using the left hand arrow and then re-enter it. Normal calls can also be made to other fixed terminal users associated with your role by using the FT speed dial tab. When you press this button, a series of speed dials are displayed. The buttons with a grey background are normal call contacts, and those with a red background are for urgent calls only. When you press a button, the call will be made automatically. The ACB will display as a normal call, but with the location ID that you have contacted and the fixed terminal icon. There may be occasions when a duplicate head code appears in the trains list. These will be highlighted in orange on the trains mobile screen. Because of the risks associated with duplicate head codes, the securest way to contact the train is via the Dial option screen. Access the Dial options screen and then enter the duplicate head code using the keypad. The head code will be highlighted in orange. The duplicate head code will then be displayed here. This shows the head code and unit numbers associated with that head code. Select the desired contact point from the duplicate head codes area. Press the Select button to return to the Dial Function page and then initiate the call. As with other normal calls, the ACB will appear as a yellow square with a flashing yellow border. However, the head code will be highlighted in orange as a reminder that it is a duplicate head code. To access the global phone book, press the phone book button. A list of contact numbers will be displayed. These are preloaded by Network Rail and fixed terminal users cannot add, edit or delete numbers. To search for a contact in the global or local phone book, press a button associated with the first letter of the contact name. To access Hornby Junction, you need to press the GHI button twice. You can also access contacts by pressing the search button on the right hand side of the screen. Enter the name of the contact in the search field 
and then press the Go button. Press the relevant contact on the list, followed by the receiver icon, to initiate the call. To access the local phone book, press the local button under the pad on the left of the screen. You may add, edit and delete numbers in this list. To add a number, press the Add button and then enter the name into the Name field. To enter the phone number, press the Phone Number field, which will then be highlighted by a blue border. Once you have entered the number, press the Save button. The contact name and number will be stored in the contacts list. To edit an entry, highlight it in the list and then press the Edit button. You can use the left hand back space button to go back and retype the details, or the X button to delete the letters or numbers. Once you have completed the change, press the Save button. To delete an entry, highlight the contact in the list and press Delete. This pop-up will ask you to confirm or cancel the delete. You can place calls on hold whilst dealing with another call. Here a call is being received and accepted. During the duration of the call, a second call is coming in. The number 2 will appear to show a second call is waiting. To answer the second call, select it in the incoming calls list on the left of the screen and then answer the call by pressing the ACB. Waiting calls are listed according to their priority. An urgent call will take priority over normal calls and these are highlighted in red. Once the first call is completed, then the second call will ring to remind you that there is another call waiting. It is possible to place a call on hold. You can hold a maximum of two calls. To do this, press the hold button whilst you are in the call that you want to hold. Remember to let the caller know that you will be doing this. When the call is on hold, it will appear in the held call window of the incoming call screen. To retrieve a held call, select the call in the held call window and press the ACB. Fixed terminals hold a log of all calls and messages received or made by the user. To access this, press the Log Direct Access tab on the incoming screen. A list of the various calls will appear showing the caller's ID, the date, time and status of the call. The call list will also show an icon indicating the user type. This black train icon indicates that a call was received from a train registered in your area. To the left of the screen you will see a series of tabs which give you access to the various logs. These can be calls, SMS text messages and ops messages. You can access the received and sent lists in the logs by pressing these buttons. From the log direct access screen you can make calls and add contacts to the local phone book.